Hello, I'm Tracy Beaton, the Chief Practitioner and Executive Director of the Office of Professional Practice with the Department of Health and Human Services. The literature tells us there will be an increase in the experience of family violence during this pandemic. Those experiencing family violence need us to hold perpetrators to account and prioritise the safety of children and adult victim survivors. Family violence and child protection practice during the pandemic has included continued home visits to the child and adult victim survivors known to be at the highest risk, updated family violence risk assessments for all children and adult victim survivors to ensure their current circumstances are understood and being managed. Updated safety plans have been created for victim survivors in recognition of the dynamic nature of risk and safety. Collaboration and clear communication with the network supporting the family has occurred to ensure everyone's role in risk management is coordinated and understood. The department has collaborated with the Orange Door to ensure subject matter experts contribute to family violence practice discussions with child protection practitioners. In housing, engaging with support services is essential activities for housing officers. This includes consultations with the departmental support, the high risk tenancies coordinator, referrals to funded partners to support tenants known as Tenancy Plus, and with other services engaged with tenants. Family violence remains a priority access for the Victorian Housing Register, while the new Residential Tenancy Act changes that came into effect in June 2020 relating to family violence have been fully implemented by the department. It is up to us to bring together a cohesive service response across government that holds perpetrators accountable for their behaviours. It is a service system built on collaboration and respect for our clients, their children and adults alike.